What's the best advice you've ever had? I just did a post on this last week on, on LinkedIn. Um, it was, it's the best and worst from my father. And actually when I put the post out, everybody else started putting their advice in as well, which happened to be from their father. So isn't it great how much they influence us? And, uh, he gave me the worst and the best worst one was once you become a boss, you can't be everyone's friend, which I, I don't, I don't take that on board. Um, cause if people take a lend of you, it's on them, not you, it's, they've done something wrong, not you. So, you know, I try to be a good leader. Um, and also you've got to look at yourself in the mirror. You know, so be humble, don't step on anybody and just play a straight bat, really. No, that's funny. When you were saying about the father thing, so my parents got divorced when I was like nine or 10. Mm -hmm. So I didn't necessarily grow up with a father, but my mom was my big role model. And I think okay. the big thing that I got from her was that with she was a din lady for a long time and she worked on security. And basically she balanced like two or three jobs to pay for me and my brother to kind of go to uni. But it was that work ethic, like even on Christmas day, she'd be working and we'd sleep in and we'd get up and we'd have Christmas at like 12 when she got back. But it was almost where I, you know, I think it's that it's what you're, when you're, what you're exposed to when you're young is what almost guides you. Actually really interesting that, have you ever heard of Masterclass? It's a, like an online app stroke website stroke thing where basically mm -hmm. Gordon Ramsay teaches cooking and okay. um, Annie Leibovitz teaches photography and stuff. Anyway, and one of the ladies on it is Anna Winter that is the uh, creative director at Condé Nast and she was the person in Vogue you know like have you ever seen Devil Wears Prada she yeah. was the woman behind that which yeah. she got a bad rap with but anyway but she learned her craft when she was like 16 17 her dad was an editor in newspaper and she kind of got dumped with the jobs that nobody else wanted to do but you know without a degree she just learned on the tools the hard yeah. way and she just did it so the point that when she actually fashion took off and she got successful but that work ethic that she learned from her dad yep. and one of the interesting things was she was saying that the back in this was like the 60s and 70s they i think they had 14 different editions of a newspaper that they had to get out every day which was from the racing post in the morning all the way through so her dad was just like decision decision, decision. and it's just embedded in her but what was interesting was that although i knew of the character it was only when I really learned more about her story, I really kind of bought into it. And I think that's something that you get with podcasts or live streams or long form content, that there'll be people that might not have known you before this, but to be like, ah, oh, I quite like that guy. I quite like his approach. And you just don't get that with little clips or text or yep. whatever. Yeah. If you were to give advice to your younger self, and I promise this is the last question, <laughs> what would it be? Just do it. That's it. I, I always live by that night motto. I love it. I always say it's 30 years old. It's a catch-all no matter what your ability is or anything. Just do it. 